Previously, my videos have been uh, demonstrations of projects that I've already built with uh, Gadgeteer. Today, we're going to do something a little different. We're actually going to walk through building a device with uh, Gadgeteer. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to build a portable uh, pulse oximeter with, uh, with Gadgeteer. And uh, so let's get started here. So first thing we do is we're going to go in here and when you install Gadgeteer, it installs a number of uh, templates for you. So we're going to build a, uh, a uh, this device is going to use uh, the .NET uh, framework, uh, the 4.2 framework. And we're going to call it Pulse. And so we're going to say OK. And then what's going to happen is that uh, Visual Studio is going to set this project up for us. It's going to uh, put us into a designer where we can then uh, go about adding all our uh, modules and such. So we'll give it a second here. And here we are. Okay. A little bit small. Let's get rid of this. This is just stuff. So we can see it uh, already has a setup with a... Uh, um, a Fez Spider, which is the main board we're going to use. So then what we can do is we can go into the toolbar and uh, you can see I actually have uh, quite a few modules and stuff that I can drop in. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop in a uh, a Pulse Oxy uh, module and you'll see that the uh, this looks actually like the, the real module. Uh, so we'll drop one of those in, then we'll head down here to the GHI stuff, and we'll uh, we'll grab a character display so that we can have something to output our uh, our uh, readings onto. Uh, then we'll come down here and we'll drop a uh, multicolor LED, and what we'll do with that is we'll have that flash with the uh, with the heartbeat. And then the uh, the other thing we'll do is we'll drop on a uh, power module, but this one uh, uh, also has battery power. So we'll do this, and now let's kind of spread this down a little bit, um, just so we can kind of show what some things. So we'll do this. Sorry, we'll put that like that. Usually I work on a much bigger screen than this, but for YouTube video fans, got to make it a little bit smaller. So one of the things that's kind of cool, like I said uh, before, is uh, I'm a software guy, so whenever I grab a soldering iron, that usually means something bad is about to happen. But with Gadgeteer, we, no soldering is needed, and so to hook up uh, a device, all you really have to do is just click on a socket, and then it will tell you what... There's a corresponding socket on the main board for that. So for our uh, our LED here, we can put that in the socket 14. Now, the sockets like U, that's a UART uh, socket, or Y, or and D is a, usually a power socket and such. And so you can match up the sockets that way, or you can just say, tell Visual Studio to hook up all the sockets for you. Um, you know, great. So now what we have to do is we've got a map of how we need to hook all this up. So we can uh, hop over to our uh, our board, which isn't hooked up here. I've just assembled all of them on the on a project board, but you can see they're just ribbon cables. And so we just literally plug them in here. Got to try and work around my camera a little bit. Plug that in like that. That one goes there. Plug that one there. And this goes, plugs in here. So, there, our device is assembled. And uh, now it's time to write some code. So, let's uh, bail back in the Visual Studio and write some code. So, again, uh, Gadgeteer puts together all these templates for you. Uh, basically, your code goes here. So, let's. Uh, Let's get rid of their comments and let's start cutting some code. And so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to add some uh, private uh, variables so that we can uh, store our uh, 
our uh, readings, so we'll call that pulse, and then uh, SpO2, so that's the uh, oxygen content in the blood. And then we'll just clean this up a little bit more. And these debug statements are kind of handy because when you're uh, debugging an application, it will put the messages into the output window. So really kind of handy when you're when you're debugging. So the first thing we'll do is uh, we'll go to the uh, multicolor LED. Now this is actually one of the first ones, and so um, when they built them, they had the red and green reverse. So we're just going to tell it to swap those. So we get the proper colors, and then I think what we'll do is uh, ah, we'll turn it blue just so that we know that the, the device is on. And then on the char display, uh, we'll do a print uh, string that says uh, ready, so our, uh, our character display will say that. Now, with the, uh, with the pulse module, the pulse oxy module, what it does is it raises events. And so we can see what events it has. It has a heartbeat, uh, a probe attached, and a probe detached. So let's start with the uh, with a probe attached. That means it's on the finger. And so we'll code an event for that. We'll just scroll down here. So what we'll do is we'll start with uh, debug print, just for consistency. And we'll just say probe attached. We'll uh, set the uh, LED multicolor. We'll set. Uh, we'll turn it uh, to green. And uh, on the uh, char display, we'll clear it. And then we'll say uh, char display print string and we'll say probe attached Then the next thing we'll do is that we'll uh, go and initialize our uh, variables just in case uh, you know we've attached it taken some readings detached it and then reattached it again um, so we'll do that and that takes care of handling that event Let's go back up here and uh, let's deal with another event. So let's deal with the uh, probe detached. And again, that's when it's removed from the finger. And so basically what we'll do is we'll just copy the first little bit here. We'll just copy this and change it to detached. And we'll turn it back to blue. And that handles that event. Now the event that uh, has the uh, data that we're interested in is the uh, heartbeat. And that returns the, uh, the pulse and um, the oxygen content. And so again, though, to be consistent, we'll uh, do this as a debug print. And we'll say heartbeat and debug print. And we'll say uh, pulse. And we'll grab the data for the reading for the pulse, which is here in reading. And it's pulse rate, debug print and uh, SpO2, the oxygen content. Again, that comes out of the reading. And then the last thing that we'll do with the, uh, the debug print is we'll uh, put out the signal strength from the, uh, from the, uh, the sensor. We won't display this. This will be, this is purely debugging type information. And that takes care of the debugs. Now the next thing that we're going to want to do is that we want to uh, 
want to flash the LED so we'll uh, set that to uh, the blink once and we'll pick a color uh, red and we'll do this with uh, time span I think well since we're going on to YouTube here we might uh, want to set this to about a quarter second and then we'll uh, change the color back to whoop, back to green and then that'll look nice and then the other thing that we're going to do is that we're going to put an if statement in here and we're going to say if uh, reading dot uh, the pulse rate has changed uh, then we're going to want to update our uh, character display. Um, certainly we could uh, update it every time, but uh, I think that would be, uh, might cause some flicker and stuff, and I'm kind of a sticker. I like uh, aesthetics when I can get them. So if I can get a nice even uh, display always, I'll always do that. So let's... Uh, if it changes, we'll say uh, char display dot clear, and we'll uh, say char display uh, print string. We'll just grab the string here from this and put that in here, and then we'll do a char uh, display. Uh, we want to set the cursor so we want to move it down to the second line and then we can do a, a char display uh, print string again except we'll grab the uh, the oxygen content and put that in there and then lastly we'll update our uh, our variables pulse rate and uh, SPO2 equals reading SPO2 and I believe that's about all we need the code so let's uh, let's see if we can build it and it's built so let's uh, let's try seeing if we can deploy it and uh, debug it so we'll Debug this. Let's set a few breakpoints just for. We'll put uh, breakpoint there. Oh, let's put it. Uh, let's put it here. And then let's put one here. And then let's run it. So when we uh, when we debug it, it assembles all the packages and such. Oh, I got the. plug my USB cable in alright and so now it'll go through and deploy this to the device so it's rebooting it and we're good to go so let's flip over to this so you can see we've got uh, says ready we've got a blue LED and so now what happens if I put the uh, sensor on my hand oh well we get a probe attached right away and so again if we flip over to this it should say probe attached we've got a green LED we can flip this back here we'll just turn this debug off um, of course we can always go look at all the different values that uh, there are we can do set next line we can change values and stuff like that we have full debugging here with uh, with gadget here so we'll let this run and it should probably get right away it goes to uh, picked up a, a heartbeat and so again we can uh, we can look at the reading values we could change stuff we could set next line and such like I said it's full debugging which is great for de uh, debugging uh, devices 
So we'll turn this off and then we'll just run this. And we'll flip this back. So you can see I have a pulse of 63, my uh, oxygen contents 98. And so if we take this off, we get that the probe has been detached, the light went back to blue. We'll put this back on. Give it a second to get a reading and there we are. We're back. We have a heartbeat flashing away. Pulse of 60, oh, 65. Let's take a deep breath. See if we can get that down a little bit. Usually it's about 60, but I'm a little nervous here doing this presentation. And so there we have a, a fully functional um, pulse oximeter. Uh, and pull, uh, you know, able to debug it and such, so pretty cool. So let's uh, let's take this one step further. As I mentioned, um, this has a uh, USB cable attached, and that's what allows the uh, computer, the uh, Visual Studio, to communicate with the uh, with the device. And so let me. Uh, just bail in the Visual Studio. You can see like all our output uh, messages and stuff are down here. But we'll stop debugging and then we'll come into uh, into here and uh, I'll turn this off. I'll uh, unplug the USB cord so now that we're uh, unattached to anything. I'll flip the power on Give it a second here, and we're ready to go. We have uh, we have our ready light. We have our blue LED on. So now, if I go and put uh, the sensor on, and away we go. We have uh, a pulse reading. We picked up a reading. So there we go. And so now we have our flashing light. We have a Pulse of 60. My oxygen content's 94. That's low for me. I'm usually much higher, you know, 99 or better. And uh, there we are up to 99. Pulse of 61. We'll take it off. And we get the message probe detached and a blue LED. Put it back on. And there we are, we're running again. So, pretty cool that, uh, you know, in uh, sort of 10 minutes, we're able to assemble code a portable pulse oximeter with Gadgeteer. So, we'll turn this off. And we'll hop back into, uh, into here. So... You can see why I like uh, Gadgeteer so much. It's a really powerful uh, device development uh, tool, prototyping tool. Uh, I have full debugging support. I have lots of modules that I can uh, plug in. It's easy to uh, to code for. It's all sort of object oriented. There's uh, properties of the modules. They respond to events and such. And uh, it's really easy to build uh, prototypes uh, quickly and uh, it's just a lot of fun to play with. Um, I'll post the source code for this project up on uh, tinyclr.com uh, in the code share section and uh, I hope you get a chance to try Gadgeteer. If, uh, if you like building devices, Gadgeteer is probably the best way to do it. Easiest, quickest, and if you're a software guy like me, it's there's so many different modules that uh, you can build lots of devices. I have a number of uh, devices that I built here in my office and uh, trying to work my way through the ones that I can share and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and and, uh, and my other videos and hopefully I am able to post more soon. Thank you very much for watching.